Hello and welcome to the show. We are back on Forza Horizon 4 building another car to take on the Needle Pass hill climb. And vehicle of choice today is the Volkswagen Scirocco. A car that I know in previous, certainly previous Forza Motorsport games has been very, very fast. As far as front wheel drive cars go, this is probably one of the best handling that you get. So, as far as front wheel drive challenges go for climbing the Needle Pass, this is going to, I reckon, stand a pretty good chance. It does, of course, though, start with slightly higher PI. I say, you know, we're towards the top of B class, which is not necessarily ideal. I think we're going to struggle to put too many parts on. Of course, we want some race tyres on our vehicle. Admittedly, I mean, it's not all the way. It's not, it's not like we completely run out of PI, but we want race tyres. We want maximum width race tyres, and that's probably going to put us almost halfway through uh, A class, which is, you know, not quite ideal. Uh, we will be running the car with its, I guess, touring car kit? I'm not actually quite sure. This is a kind of a proper a proper race car kit, at least. It's been on the Shroko for a while now in various Forza games. Fantastic kit. I actually got a sensible-ish looking <laughs> rear wing on a front-wheel drive car, which is always nice to see. We can have quad exhaust, because quad exhausts are more good, I think. Uh, we can have the aero-improving side skirts, and we can have the bonnet as well. So, <laughs> it looks the part. It's a good it's a good looking kit for the car, after all, because it's a, a racing version. Is it Shroko? Is it Shroko Cup, maybe? Might be a Cup car. They might have their own one-make series. I don't actually... I used to know what it was. Don't remember anymore. Uh, we won't be changing the engine, I wouldn't expect, in this. Uh, we can put a turbo rally in it. There is an option to do that, uh, but we won't be doing it. In this series, the cars must run their standard engines, unless they can't get to the top of A class. Well, the Scirocco is not going to have any problems with that. We are going to want some race spring. It still actually looks quite high, but there we go. Uh, we're going to probably... We're going to want a roll cage. Um, we are probably going to want to dump as much weight out of the car as we can as well. Down to two and a half thousand pounds. It's not not too bad on the weight front. We are gonna be a little bit down on power, although it's probably gonna come out similar sort of power to the S2000, actually. By by the time we're done with it, probably be around similar sort of power. Yeah, okay, might be a little bit less. Might be a little bit less. I guess we've got to hope for more grip in this, which is a odd thing, but it might be doable, possibly. Get 296. It looks like we'll just be shy of the 300 horsepower mark. Yeah, I don't think we can quite get. That's a shame, but I'm not too surprised. Uh, 296 horsepower, 292 torque, but we are down to 2,520 something pounds. And we might be able to sneak a little bit more weight out of the car if we do that. Oh, I didn't actually look at gearbox. Occasionally, I found with more on Horizon 4 than any other Forza game, occasionally, yeah, a upgraded gearbox will drop the PI. And I don't know why. Sometimes. You know, the upgraded gearbox can do funny things to the gear ratios, uh, but I don't know why on this on, on this game in particular, it seems to be the upgraded gearbox makes everything better and drops the PI. Works for me. And we will get the 300 horsepower mark now. <laughs> Fantastic. That's what we like. We're up to 300 horsepower, and then I suspect if we go stick a drive line on, we might be able to sneak a clutch. Nope. <laughs> now will be that. 300 horsepower, near enough 300 torque. Two and a half thousand pounds. It should theoretically be very grippy. It should theoretically be able to carry a lot of corner speed. So maybe, just maybe, our front wheel drive Scirocco can challenge the, well, leading Honda. So here we are on the start line already to climb up the hill with our Volkswagen. I'm going to have three runs through this course to try and go faster than a 127.4. at the record set by the Honda S2000. Now, truth is, with the Scirocco being front-wheel drive, of course, we are always going to lose that little bit of time off the line. We are never going to quite get going as quickly as the rear-wheel drive or the all-wheel drive cars. That's to be expected. We're going to have to make up time, hopefully, through, or if we're going to make up time, it's going to be through the corners. Of course, we are unlikely to see you. It's not impossible, but we're unlikely to see oversteer from from this car. We will see the uh, good old on power understeer as we try and exit these corners. 300 horsepower on full width race tyres isn't too bad, but still, you know, we're going to be seeing 
understeer as opposed to oversteer. Uh, <laughs> already, yep, we are seeing some of that around here. It feels pretty good so far. It does seem pretty decent in terms of speed, in terms of corner grip. I might have taken a few wonky lines along the way, but uh, other than that, it's not really the car. We've got some wonky lines there as well. Not quite the uh, car's fault. We can definitely improve. On the next run, I'm just pushing it that uh, that little bit, little bit too hard. Oh, I have to really slow it down for this. It's a nasty, nasty corner. A very nasty corner, that one. We'll get away with it. Uh, you very easy to dip a wheel into the gravel, into the sand on the outside, and uh, get into a lot of trouble. I'm trying to put the power down. We've got more understeer through there. Not really what I wanted to have. Not really what I want to have to deal with either. Oh. Wrong gear slightly through there as well. It's a bit of a scruffy first run, but it was a good rough idea at the time. He's across the line in. I didn't actually see what came up. So what did we do for a first run? A 129.2. I mean, it becomes the fastest front-wheel drive car. It beats the Mini by a second and a half. I think there is definitely room for a little bit more speed, a bit of an improvement from that car. Right, on to our second run with the car. I'm thinking, well, maybe I should be a little bit more careful with the power, possibly. Uh, we are, I'm just taking a little wide on the exit of the corners. We're going to find some time. I mean, we need to find about a second if we are going to fight with the likes of the Mazda RX-8. So if we're gonna, yeah, if we're gonna find that, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure where we're gonna find it, but I'm gonna give it a damn good shot. At least, I think, yeah, maybe just be a little bit more patient with the car. Don't jump on the throttle quite as early. Focus on getting good exits out of these corners, and then we should be good, hopefully. I mean, there's always, of course, there's always going to be on power understeer from this vehicle. That is just going to happen up here. But uh, if we can minimise it, if we can minimise it, we might be able to, yeah, get a decent time. It's, it's a nice car to drive. I mean, this Rocco always has been, as I said, always likes driving this. Uh, I think there might be potential for faster front-wheel drive cars than this. Some of the well, some of the classic Hondas, for example, the Mugen, uh, Mugen CRX, whatever. That, that thing is so light uh, that we've seen those be very fast up this hill. That is an advantage it has over the likes of the Scirocco. This is not heavy, mind, though. Um, as I said, for a front-wheel drive car, it does drive remarkably well. It's a little bit more controlled on the uh, hill climb this time around. I'm, I mean, this is what I wanted to do. See what we can get in terms of a uh, lap time out of the vehicle. Well, I say lap time, climb time, stage time, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think we are, yeah, we're, we are a little tamer on all of this, and that's around the final corner, run towards the line, okay, that's more like it, that's much more like it, we will go, yeah, 128.3, a good time from the Scirocco, we shaved over a second off, we are now within, well, 0.2 of a second of the RX-8, ooh, I don't know where I can find that, but we're, again, we're <laughs> giving a damn good shot. Well, this is it, the final chance for our Scirocco to try and make any time up on the climb. It is not much that we need. And admittedly, I would imagine more than 0.2 of a second is lost on the on the initial launch. So we're gonna have to try and find it elsewhere on the on the run, as I said and as I expected. This is a good the front wheel drive car goes, this is bloody good to drive. It always has been. It might still be asking a little much of this to compete with the likes of the S2000, but we're going to see what it is uh, capable of up here. It's a good start. Please with the star so far. Everything, again, all fairly under control around here. Don't get too greedy on the power. It's easy to, in fact, I thought I was being okay with that. Still managed to run a little bit wide on the exit. Now, it's not, that's not the worst place to have run a smidge wide. You'll get away with putting a wheel on the... Well, it's kind of gravel, actually, on the outside of the corner. We should be able to carry a bit of speed through there. It's not quite flat the whole way around, which I'm sure we will see from the grippier cars that run up this course. Uh, but it is, again, pretty fast through there. We're still struggling a little bit with understeer in that section. We're not quite getting it to... It's not just the on-power understeer. It's struggle... Well, it's a little bit. It's not quite getting turned in as sharply as we have seen from some cars. I mean, let's not forget the S2000 had a big wide body kit on and some absolutely massive tyres and was very light. You put all that together. Funnily enough, pretty good for climbing up this hill. This is the last time through these hairpins. Can we 
get any more speed out of the out of the Volkswagen. I'm hoping so. I mean, I love the RX-8, don't get me wrong, but I'd love to see this car go <laughs> very quickly up here. I'd like to see a front-wheel drive car do well, but it is going to do well, and oh, it's going to be very close. I think the RX-8 has just done it. It was a fraction better run from me. Indeed, it is a 128.2 dead. We are slightly faster on this run, but it doesn't beat the RX-8. It's very close to the RX-8. There we go. Oh, we got a level up. Will we get something interesting out of the wheel spin? Let's face it, probably not. I know what my luck is normally from these. We go. Well, <laughs> well we raced a modern front wheel drive hot hatch and we won a classic front wheel drive hot hatch. In front of me, the TBR. But there we go. Um, yeah, the Scirocco is very good to drive. As, as we were probably all expecting, a lovely grippy car. Uh, it does well up the hill climb, does well indeed. There is a little bit of understeer from the car, we're not just talking about the on-power kind up the course. However, uh, yeah, overall, to be only a tenth down on an RX-8, I mean, we are within a second, we're within eight tenths of the leader of this series. I think it's actually going to be quite a competitive, quite a tight uh, leaderboard going forward with these hill climbs, which is always good, it's what you want to see. The Scirocco will go into a fourth place. We comfortably beat the classic Mini, we comfortably beat the BMW M4, <laughs> the Iron Knight. As I say, we are a tenth off, well, less than a tenth off of the Mazda RX-A. So, as far as front-wheel drive cars go, this is a bloody good one. As far as the front-wheel drive vehicles go, uh, this is a very, very good, very good car. Uh, just not quite able to keep up with the S2000. That, though, is going to be it for this video. If you have requests for vehicles you would like to see run in this series, please do leave them in the comments section. The most liked request, as long as the car fits within the restrictions and as long as I have it slash can afford to buy it, uh, that will be run next time out. Maybe it'll be fast, maybe it'll be silly. Who knows? <laughs> that was going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time... Uh, yeah, goodbye.